other thing is, we got these perverted men around here. Like, acting like they want to talk to you. And then you talk to them and then you talk about, oh, yeah, I wish you was in Sullivan, all this type of stuff. When you tell them you're Sullivan, they stop talking to you. Like, this is why I don't really associate. with anybody because it's okay but there's a lot of sex trafficking going around here like I said it was the guy even said like he knows something certain things around here is going on around this neighborhood that's not good and that's probably why these perverted men keep riding around here in circles when they see me sitting out here looking at me all crazy because they're freaking perverted in their freaking mind and a lot of them are like back then sex offenders you see them on their website the tennessee sex offender website um so you gotta be careful because they're like perverted in their mindset they um go around looking for females because they're sexualized in their mind and I'm really not out here looking for anybody I'm just I'm looking for a relationship marriage um, somebody to build a relationship with one day a Christian man like I'm a Christian but I'm not out here looking for to sleep with people and be sleeping around with people I talked to one freaking guy in Nashville and he knows exactly that I'm not looking for sex and he said he respects that that's the only reason why I'm talking to him now Because he didn't show disrespect of disrespect in my opinion of how I believe. I haven't met any decent guys out here, like, and when I thought I did, like, they just talk about, yeah sex stuff and all types of stuff especially on that facebook dating app they're just looking for like sex 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 something i'm not looking for so i just look um to build my faith and my walk with God and go to church and try to live here the best I can till now I move. That's what I'm aiming for in the Cedro stuff going on, what I'm trying to do and stuff. crazy thing too like this freaking world you talk about your celibate they stop talking to you this is how the world operates freaking dumb world It's basically like you're boring or something. You're boring, you're not fun because you're not having sex. That's what it makes you feel like. But it's really not true because you can have fun and do stuff without having sex.
what happened going out to the movies, going out to eat, and going back home. Like, that person can't respect your body and respect your decisions because you don't want to give your body out to anybody. You want to keep it clean and safe. You want to keep it celibate for God. You want to do what God says. Not saying that it's a easy walk, but it is like this world is like so much temptation in the world. It's so hard, but your desire is for her to be celibate, following what God says.